basis around our, our idea for our social media challenge is that we're going to do um, one main event and then kind of promote it to kind of raise her awareness, get her fans involved, but then also obviously create more fans. And we're doing it based around a music video in Faneuil Hall. And it's going to be uh, very much like a guerrilla style music video. So um, just, you know, no sets, no building anything, just um, her in Faneuil Hall um, singing her newest single and filming it and the way we're trying to get people to come and actually be in the video and there's certain um, benefits to um, using social media to, so it creates kind of like a competition to actually getting into the video so um, the first one is the first 15 people to check into um, Foursquare um, at the event at the music video will get um, to go to the recording studio with her and kind of get an exclusive um, to see her record her newest single um, and then the first 25 people to tweet lyrics from the single um, with the hashtag um, Ashley at Faneuil will get to go um, to a meet and greet kind of after the shoot. And when the video is posted um, like you know, on her YouTube page, on her website, uh, Facebook, that type of thing, um, Facebook in particular, they'll be tagged in the video on her Facebook page. Um, and then the, everyone who shows up to the event obviously will get to be in the video. Um, which will be uploaded on all those different formats. And then everyone that comes to the event is going to sign in with an email and we're going to um, send them, after the event, we're going to send them a link and for each person that they refer to, if they refer to one or two, we're going to get a downloadable, downloadable version of the video and of the song. So that way she does like her core base and then we'll expand it to whoever she, the person refers to. That is a way of expanding her audience. So her fans get the version of the song for free, and then it's kind of also other people are introduced to her music. And a way to um, promote the event on a zero dollar budget is that we'll um, utilize different social media aspects. So Daily Candy is a big um, uh, email blast that goes out to major cities, and they have a website and a Twitter account and a Facebook page. And they cover, if they hear about something that's cool that's happening, they can promote your event without you actually paying for them to promote it. So they may want to cover this free concert in their Boston Daily Weekend Guide, and that would go out to people that would probably be in her target audience, like a lot of college students, girls in, in their 20s. And also it might be, it would also reach people who might not be a fan of her on Facebook or follow her on Twitter yet, but they do uh, subscribe to Daily Candy. And we would also um, tweet to like major um, uh, Twitter accounts in Boston, such as Boston Tweet, Boston Funship, Boston Phoenix, all those big accounts, including also Berkeley as well, so that people who might not follow her on Twitter but follow these major Twitter accounts that <coughs> constantly tell you about cool stuff happening in Boston will be able to find out even like the day of the event and be like, I'm going to, you know, this is a free show, I'm gonna <coughs> go down there and uh, be part of a music video for free. So. That's pretty much how we'll be targeting not only her current fan audience, but also broadening um, her fan base in Boston, especially since this is really her roots, where she lived and where she went to school. So, like, you know, American Idol, like, they go back to their hometowns, and it's always, like, huge to see, like, you know, she's representing Boston, so it'd be a cool way to see that happen, and then hopefully the video will go viral as she links it on her all her social media sites.